The Little Raven and Friends. The Tricycle Story. Play. Please choose a picture of me. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Little Bumble Bears Let's Play. I'm Kristen and we're here with the Little Raven and Friends, The Tricycle Story. I do hope you enjoy. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. Do you remember this game? And of course, subscribe for more nostalgic gaming. Check out the playlist in the description box to see other nostalgic Let's Plays on this channel. I have a Twitter and Instagram you're welcome to follow, and a Discord server. If you use Discord and you'd like to join, just click on the invite link in the description box and come say hi. It's a wonderful community that I hang out in every day. All right, let's get started. Enjoy the story. <laughs> Aha! Eddie Bear's tricycle! Hmm. I wonder what it's like to ride. Hey, tree, move it! Ow! Oh, oh, ah! Uh. uh oh. Eddie Bear's going to be really mad when he sees what I did to his trike. Oh. That dumb tree getting in the way like that. What a pain. It wasn't really my fault. It was the tree. It just sort of stood there in the middle of the road. Besides, I hardly use the tricycle at all. But what am I going to tell Eddie? Should I say I haven't been on his trike at all? What do you think? Should I lie a bit? Yes? No? Okay, getting in trouble is bad. But breaking things and not admitting it is even worse. <sighs> Eddie Bear will be here any minute to pick up his trike. Morning, Stripey. Morning. Hello there, Stripey. Uh, have you seen my trial? Uh, what's that in your hand? Here, you can have your trike back. And if you're wondering what happened to it, You'll have to ask the tree. It just stood there in the middle of the road. What? My tricycle's broken? Yes, but I'll fix it for you, no sweat. I just have to find all the parts. No problem, really. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> Oh no, Eddie's really upset. He should have told me how he really feels. Please help me find the parts of the trike. We've already got the front wheel. 
Let's collect all the parts of the trike in this box, like this. Where should we look? Where Hare lives or at Owl's house? You decide. visit sheep. Oh, wait a second. Before we leave, I just want to get a couple of cookies for my nest. For energy. A search like this. Can be very hard work. Here we go. here. I wonder where sheep might be. Gangway, here I come. <gasps> hey, you almost ran me over. Sorry, nothing personal. Hmm. Hey, Raven, watch me go. Here you can see how many parts you still need to find. Well, we've got the front wheel at least. Hey, check out this foxtail I just found. Isn't it cool? But that belongs to Eddie. And I need it, because I'm in charge of repairing this trike. What? Give you my new foxtail? Just like that? Maybe you could decorate your skateboard with something else. Like... Uh... A flag? That's not such a bad idea. A flag. But... It has to be a really cool flag. Then I'll trade you. Oh boy, this sounds complicated. It'll take years to find a flag cool enough to go on old Sheepy Gonzalez's skateboard. Should I? Yes? No? for a super duper extra special cool flag for you. I wonder where Sheep's substitute flag for the foxtail could be. Click on button one if you want to make it a bit easier. Click on button two to make your search a bit harder. When you've clicked on one or two, the Sheep will tell you what the substitute flag should look like. Have a look around where my friends live and click on the flag that matches the description. Do you want to hear the flag described again? Then click here. If you don't want to play anymore, then click here. Okay, what should this flag look like? The flag should be rectangular and all white. Hmm, let's see where the flag is. That isn't the right flag. Ah, that's the right flag. 
my great. Okay, that's that. Where should I look now? Hi there, Mouse. Hello, Stripey. It's great to see you. Good morning to you. No one's home. Tell me, Mouse. Have you found anything strange around here? You must mean my humongous cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you mean this over here. Yes, yes, that's exactly what I mean. I've been looking all over for that. I need it. It landed right in front of my house. Okay, give it to me. Hmm. Uh, Raven, could you do me a tiny little mouse-sized favor? Well, favors aren't actually my thing today. I just wanted to get the tail lights. Should I do the little mouse a favor? Yes? No? Okay, I'll do you a favor. Because I'm a nice, cuddly, lovable raven. What can I do for you? Well, there's this big, heavenly piece of cheese, you see. And I've got to get it into my pantry. The problem is that it's way too heavy for me. But you, you can move it with your big beak. You're right. I can use my beak to move the cheese. This big piece of cheese has to be pushed into the pantry. If you don't want to work that hard, click on figure one. Click on figure two to make pushing a bit harder. Unfortunately, I can only push the cheese. That means I have to be standing behind it to move it forward. You can steer me using the arrow keys and push the cheese forwards using my magnificent beak. But watch out that the cheese doesn't end up somewhere where I can't push it any further. When you've had enough cheese pushing, click here. Okay then, let's go. Hey, great! We did it! That wasn't easy. Here you are! Your reward! Thanks very much, Mouse. Okay, into the box with the tail lights. Who should I visit now?
nothing beats flying. Believe me. <laughs> Hello there, wild boar. What are you doing? Swatting flies? Nonsense. I'm getting into shape. With these weights. Weights? Those weights of yours look just like the back wheels of Eddie's trike. Which I happen to be looking for. And now you want to take away my weights? You can't do that. I'm using them. Find me another set of weights. It only has to be a pole with a weight on each end. Hey, maybe you could make me a set. Me? Make you a set of weights? I don't know if I can be bothered. Even though I'm the best weight maker around. What should I do? Make some weights for wild boar? What do you think? Yes? No? Okay, I'll make you a special set of wild boar weights. But I want Eddie's trike wheels in return. A promise is a promise. Okay, let's see if we can't put together a set of weights for wild boar from all this stuff. The weights should have the same weight on each end, so that it balances evenly when you lift it up, and they shouldn't be too light or too heavy. Use your mouse to move the various parts around the floor and put them together. When you've made a weight, Drag and drop it to Boar so he can test it. And when you don't feel like playing anymore, just click on the stop button. If you want an easy game, click on figure one, and then Boar will only need a lightweight. If you click on figure two, Boar will need a fairly heavy weight, and you'll have some thinking to do. Here we go! Oh, this is very heavy. Well, that's looking pretty good. Well, that's looking pretty good. This might work. Well, let's see. The weights should have the same weight on each end. The ends aren't quite balanced. You'll have to make a slight adjustment. This might work. Well, let's see.
The weights should have the same weight on each end. The ends aren't quite balanced. You'll have to make a slight adjustment. Oh, this is very heavy. This might work. Well, let's see. The ends aren't quite balanced. You'll have to make a slight adjustment. Yes, yes, change it. Do an inspection, then a demonstration. I know. This might work. Oh, this is far too heavy for me, and it's not balanced either. Try again. Yes, yes, do this, do that, wipe my nose. This might work. Well, let's see. The ends aren't quite balanced. You'll have to make a slight adjustment. Yes, yes, change it. Do an inspection. This might work. Oh, yes, that's just right. Now I'll be the strongest beast in the forest. So that's that. Where should we look now? Okay, this is where the wheels are attached, and then... Hello, Hare. What's going on? Hello, Stripey. I'm pretty busy right now. I'm making sheep a new skateboard. That seat from Eddie's trike. That's why it seems familiar. Hmm, well, okay then. I suppose that means you can have it. Excuse me, uh, back in a second. Great. Thank you, thank you. Okay, that goes into the box right away. I should really catch the beetles. But on the other hand, I don't feel like it. Should I round them up? Yes? No? Okay, fine. Let's get those rotten old beetles caught. Quick! The beetles have to be put back in the jar. Otherwise, they'll get away. Click on the figure one button if you want a fairly easy game. 
If you want to be a busier beetle collector, click on the figure two button. To collect the beetles, you have to drag and drop them with your mouse back into the jar. If you're bored with collecting beetles, just click on stop. There you go. Oh, we've caught one already. collection is back together. Get the lid on quick! Look here, every single one back in the jar. 3,592 beetles, more or less. That was nice of you to catch all the beetles. Uh, don't forget the trike seat. Thanks, Hare. Okay, into the box with the trike seat. Where should I look now? Off to visit Badger. <laughs> Oh, Stripey, look what I have. Oh, yeah, a memory test. I bet it's fun to do a memory test. <sighs> I bet it's fun to do a memory test. Test. No, I'm, um, just looking at the pictures. Actually, I don't know how to play. And I'm looking for part of a tricycle. Have you seen anything like that? No, but I'll give you a hand. I'm a great thing finder. But could you first tell me how this memory test works? Excuse me? Explain to you how this memory test works? Can't you see I'm busy? Hmm. Should I tell Badger how to do the memory test? Yes? No? Okay, I'll be really nice and show you how to do your memory test. Thanks, Raven. Oh, I love a memory test, preferably with all the cards face up. The game's pretty simple. Click on a card, then look for the matching card with the same picture, and click on that, too. If you need help, click here. 
If there's a danger of your brain exploding from all the effort, one click will stop the game. The button with figure one on it starts the really simple for young Einstein's memory test, and figure two, the Einstein mega brain memory test. Just one click and away you go. Whoops, there we go. Right, that's one card you've got. Now where's the other? No, that was no good, but it's around. That's a matching pair. Right, where's the next one? done in the twinkling of an eye. For some strange reason, the last pair is always the easiest to find. Thanks! I had fun! Now I'll help you look for part of Eddie's trike. I'm sure we'll find something. My sock's a lot better than this one. Hmm, now where did the pieces of the trike go? Look, there's something over there. Ah, the handlebars. You really are a good thing finder. Okay, that's that. Where should I go now? Okay, I'll pay Owl a visit. Hello, Owl. Up. I've got something really important to ask you, Owl. <sighs> Have you seen a whatchamacallit recently? One that might fit a tricycle? I'll have to have a look round inside. Now, where did I put my glasses? I'm always putting them down and then forgetting where. Could you have a look for me, Raven? They got light and dark blue stripes. Hmm, I could be busy doing something else. Should I help Old Owl find her specs? Yes? No? Okay, let's look for the glasses. Where could your glasses be? I think I might have left them in the hammock. Oh no, just look at all this junk. How are we going to find a pair of dark and light blue striped glasses in this mess? Oh well, good luck. Rats, no specs here. Ah, there they are. Playing hide and seek, huh? Found them anyway. 
Hey, Owl! I found your glasses! Wonderful! Thanks, Stripey. Now I can see if I have any pieces of the trike in my living room. Let's see. What did I do with that part of the trike? Would you give me a hand looking for it? To make it a bit easier, click on figure one. To make it a bit more difficult, click on figure two. Drag your cursor, I mean spectacles, across the picture. When you've found the part, click on it. If you want to stop your search, just click on Stop. To make it a so, keep your eyes peeled, and there you go. No, that doesn't belong on a trike. <laughs> Great! You found the pedals! Super! Here, is this what you're looking for? Oh, the pedals from the trike! Great! Thanks a lot, Owl! Okay, into the box with the pedals. I still haven't found all the pieces of the trike. So where should we look now? Off to see Mouse. Bye-bye, Owl. Hi there, little friend. Oh, it's you. Hello, Stripey. Nice to, uh, see you. Uh, uh. you this, but I need that horn. It belongs to Eddie Bear's trike. What? This beautiful brand new horn I just found? Mm-hmm. You see, I, uh, well, I sort of crashed Eddie's trike into the tree. And all the different parts went flying all over the place, and now I'm trying to find them. Anyway, I need the horn. I see. Well, I think I should get something back, so I'm not too upset. What about some cookies? What? You want some of my cookies? Hmm. Should I give some to Mole? Yes? No? Have some cookies. I'm not really mean. That's all? That's hardly a fair swap for such a magnificent horn. I want more than that. More? Then I'll hardly have any cookies left for me. 
and I really do need them. Searching makes me hungry. Hmm. I understand. We can play a game for the cookies. Every time you win, you get a cookie. And if I win, I get to keep one. That's a good idea. Let's play for them. And I know how we can play for the cookies. Look! I have here three perfectly ordinary nutshells. Under two of the shells, I will hide a cookie. The question is, which shell has no cookie? To make the game a bit easier, click on figure one. To make it a bit harder, click on figure two. Pay close attention. In a moment, Mole will quickly shuffle the three nutshells. Then you have to click on the shell that has no cookie under it. If you click on one with a cookie, Mole will get it, which would be a shame for you. The game is played over five rounds. If you don't feel like playing anymore, then click here. Let's play! Which nutshell is empty? Oh no! Now Mole gets your lovely, yummy cookie! Hee <laughs> hee! Next round! Right. Oh no! Next round! Great! Next round! My beautiful cookie! Next round! I got Eddie's horn back. Okay, into the box with the horn. Great! We found all the parts. We make a great team, don't you think? Now I just have to put the trike back together. I'll need a screwdriver to do that, though. You need a screwdriver? Here. Thanks. Let's go. Okay, we've got the screwdriver. Now we just have to screw the various parts together. It doesn't fit. It fits. Good. The front wheel's in place. Ah, the fox's tail! It's impossible to steer without handlebars, and steering is pretty important. Tail lights like these are a must for safety. Now the horn's mounted. Great! Everything's back together. Excellent.
Excellent. Good job. You're almost as fast as me. What? I could overtake you with both wings tied behind my back. Let's race. Okay. Wait a second. I was just about to... Click on the one or two and the race can begin. We have to beat Sheep to the finish. Button one is best for beginner racing. The more experienced can start with button two right away. If you hold the mouse button down, you'll speed up. When you let go of the mouse button, you'll slow down. To steer the trike, drag the mouse to left or right, okay? This is so exciting. Oh, great start. Don't let the speeding sheep gain on you. Oh no, look out. Oh, help, we've got to get back on track. most skillful, most intelligent raven in the whole forest. What am I saying? In the whole world! Yoo-hoo! Uh, hold on, raven. Wait! <laughs> That was the tricycle story. We got all the parts together. And of course, it was based off the book. If you didn't know that, right there it says. But yes, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. And of course, subscribe for more nostalgic gaming. Check out the playlist to go check out other videos on this channel that you might enjoy. Remember, you are special and loved. You are never alone. You're always welcome to come back and hang out anytime. Until the next video, God bless. I will see you all later. Bye-bye, everyone.